Welcome to the next card in my Christmas series 2018. This card's a little bit different for me. I don't normally do these kind of cards with um, sort of more country look. I'm starting off with a die that I got from AliExpress. So it's just a um, Christmas stocking with a whole lot of little extra bits and pieces for decorating them. So I'll make a card with using this today. I'm actually only going to use the one outline um, die that the set comes with and um, one of the cuffs and then the heel and the toe little piece that it also comes with. Well, that's one of the best dies I've had to break apart. It comes apart really easily. I have one of my 5 by 7 inch card bases and I've got a panel that's just slightly smaller than that but I end up changing my mind a bit later on in the video and do a green glitter frame or you know backing to that um, front panel so I'll end up trimming that a little bit more. I'll have all the measurements on my blog the just um, addresses down in the description below this video. I've got a range of um, scraps of Christmas paper in reds and greens and I've also got a blue dot paper and then I've also got some sparkly white glitter paper so I'm going to cut the different parts out with that but because the papers are a little bit light for what I'm wanting to do with them I'm going to stick the paper down onto some card with double sided sticky paper so I'll do that first before I then cut them out with the die cutting machine.
So now I've got all my parts cut out I can just start putting each of the stockings together. So I'll put the toe and the heel part on and the cuff on each of the stockings um, with this Nouveau glue pen and then I've also got a star to decorate the blue one that's going to be the one in the middle. For any of you that are very observant you'll see that I put the heel and the toe around the wrong way and I realised when I come to make the second um, stocking that I've done that so I have to go back and swap the other ones over. They look very similar. Now that the stockings are finished I can get on with getting the card base ready. So it was at this point that I decided I needed a bit more colour on the card so I've got this green glitter paper which I'm going to put as a um, frame just behind the white front panel. So I've stuck that down on my card base. And then before I put the string onto the front panel for putting the stockings on, I'm just going to do my sentiment. I'm going to use this Kaiser Craft um, Yuletide sentiment stamp, just um, one that I've used before. And I'm going to use the Misty to do the stamping so that I can repeat stamp if I need to. I'm using Versafine Onyx Black Ink and Clear Embossing Powder. I use this um, kissing technique to do my stamping. Now it means that you're just doing a very light touch down of the stamp each time but you do two or three, sometimes four times just to get the depth without pushing really hard on the stamp. Sometimes if you do just one stamp but it's quite a heavy stamp you get kind of fatter parts and thinner parts on your sentiments. So this kissing technique it just seems to be very even result in the end. And that's why I do it that way. For the stockings to hang on I'm just going to use a little um, piece of this hemp string, quite a fine string, um, and I'm just going to drape it across the top of the card and secure it at the back with some washi tape but I want it fairly loose because I want it to just hang down slightly just above the where the sentiment's going to go. I'm 
I'm testing it just to make sure that I've got it loose enough and I think that's about right. And then I can stick that down, the card panel down onto the glitter paper. So I'm using some quite wide double sided tape but I'm also going to put a little bit of glue um, over that just to make sure that it's going to stick to the glitter paper. I'll then go ahead and stick the stockings down onto that top string. I'll use a little bit of scotch foam tape to secure them and just raise them up just slightly. The next thing I'm going to do is I've got some little gold Christmas bells and I'm going to put one on each of the stockings and I'm going to tie a bow with the same hemp string on the top of that um, before I secure it onto the, each of the stockings. So I've got two ready and I've just got the last one to do. So what I do is put um, cut off a little piece of string, thread it through the top part of the bell and then I tie a knot um, just slightly away from the top of the bell just so that it's got a little bit of dangle room and then I'll tie the bow, just a tiny little bow And then to secure them I'm just putting a blob of this Nouveau glue which is quite thick in each of the top um, right hand corner of each of the stockings and then I'll pop the bow on that and just leave that to dry and that's the card finished. I'll leave you with looking at some photos. Um, at the end of the video I'll have um, a couple of other Christmas card videos that you might be interested in. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next week with another Christmas card video. Bye for now.